Hello everybody, I'm Richard Hilton and I am the creator of Profit Renegade and today's video is about the email digger. The way you access the email digger is click on settings, click on options, and then come down to the middle section here and click on email digger. If any of these functions you're not able to check them like this then that means that you don't own the email digger. Oops, um, all right, so if you do own the email digger, check this for on, uncheck this for off. That goes for everything. With the email digger, you can go up to 99 threads as your max. There's no max on the timeout. I suggest the setting around 60 seconds. Uh, 90 seconds if you're, well, maybe more like 75, 80. If you're across the pond and you're looking for USA leads, if you're in the USA looking for UK leads or Australian leads or whatever, also I would suggest uh, a minimum of 80 seconds. A lot of the sites over there are, are slow. Well, the transition from here to there is slow. Smart check, what that does is it has a preloaded list of words like contact, get a hold of us, things like that. Things that we know we've seen over and over and over and webmasters like to put in their links in order to get a hold of them and that's where they normally put their email address so if you check that that's what that does if you check spider the entire site that's exactly what it means it will go through every single page on the site to find the email auto fix munged emails often you will see something listed in a directory that says something like bob underscore no underscore spam underscore at gmail.com uh, and there's mm, I don't know 500 very common ones give or take I made that number up but it's a lot and if you click the auto fix bunch emails it will find those the ones it knows about and it will fix them for you automatically so you'll never even see them it'll just go into the grid that way auto adjust digger threads for slower and faster sites the digger threads run independent than every other set of threads in profit renegade fast sites it might open up some uh, more threads to, to scan the site faster and slower sites it'll slow the threads down so or it'll lower the threads so that you have more room for other sites or other lead defined emails for other leads in the grid you don't want to sit there and waste all your time on one site you don't want to spend an hour on one like site that has 10,000 pages to find an email address and if you do you check this button and it'll make sure that it gets to the fast ones fast and the slower ones it'll still get there it'll just take a while system beep one found that's exactly what it sounds like a lot of people weren't sure if the email digger was actually working for them or not so if you check this button every single time the digger finds an email address it's gonna go beep it's gonna get annoying quick so um, I very <laughs> you can turn this on and off as the software is running it's up to you clear link queue after domain or for domain after first email is found what email digger does is it goes and it finds all the emails on the site and then it saves the last one. It tries to use some futuristic uh, smart thinking there. What it, uh, basically if you check this it tells it not to be smart and it just takes the very first email it finds and it throws it into the grid for you and it gets rid of the stored queue. Um, now email digger itself works by when a listing has a website but does not have an email in the grid what it will then do it will then go to the website for that listing to find an email address if it finds one it throws it in the grid now if it does not have a website it cannot go to the website and find an email so I would just clean out if that's if you're looking for emails just make sure that you go ahead and remove blanks that'll make your life a whole lot easier And I think that covers all of the email digger settings. If you have any questions, just let me know.